that guy made a mistake, huh? Well, I can zoom in. Is it a face hugger? It should have been a face hugger. Yep. Face hugger, yes. It should have been a smart hugger. choice? No, not at all. <laughs> would you would you do this? We had uh, to me or on somebody. I'll do it on somebody. I don't go, well, I'd size them up first. Yeah. What, what do you mean, size them up? If you can find I don't know, some young, some young kid with no tattoos, sure. Let's go, player. Let's ruin your life. And speaking of ruining lives, it's another episode of Straight to the Point, completely off topic. Today's guest is my friend and tattoo artist, Brian Saldano. He's not tattooing as much anymore. Now he's doing wall murals, and he's doing sculptures. I can't wait for you guys to see these sculptures. Honestly, stick around for the sculptures. Skip ahead for the sculptures. They're friggin' awesome. Um, and other than that, uh, smash the like button. I understand you have to smash it. Um, and also smash the subscribe button. While you're into smashing things, you might as well hulk all down that thing, too. Before we get to that, though, let's go back to making fun of ridiculous tattoos. What's up with the tongue? Or is it I don't know. Is it a tongue or a sock? I think it's eating a sock, an argyle sock. <laughs> an argyle? Yeah. I like the one raised eyebrow, like it's fucking distinguished. Right. Uh, those eyes are tight, too. Can we do them blue? He says, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My boy's eyes are blue. We're going to need the blue. Yeah, what, yeah. Is that what you imagine the customer came in and said? Is like, here's the thing. My kid was eating I sock. Always, I thought it was I always, <laughs> I always wonder, like, the expectations when you see these tattoos leave. Like, how pumped is the person? Like, are they actually, like, <laughs> legit pumped? Like, I only paid a 12-pack for it. It's sick. Or, <laughs> no. like, you know what I mean? I'd be, I I, do. I'd, I'd be devastated, I think. Even if I didn't know anything about tattoos. Oh yeah, this one's Not, much yeah, I would, more. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to her. She's she's a nice lady. She doesn't need. She looks like a pretty home. kid. Yeah, or, yeah, definitely, like definitely too young for that. Kid. I should say. Right. I should modify that. She looks right. like she's, she's pretty. She's she's doomed to be a uh, what's that thing? What's that site? Those a girls. Bieber, I think. Isn't that a Justin Bieber? Oh, maybe and, I don't know. Some I other. I feel kid like it's a, even the like, nose, what age the hair. <laughs> right? the, is that a tribal tattoo on his forehead, or is that his hair? <laughs> is there something going on really weird with her eyeliner and fake eyelashes? Is that yeah, eyelash coming I, off? I don't know. It's a thing. I think that's like uh, regional. The weird shit goes through. I'd almost have to like call regional. it out, region. No, look at the crease. It's the California of, thing. Of her eyeliner here is not on the end of her eye, but it's on her eye shadow. Maybe wow. the guy that did the tattoo missed on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's permanent? I'll be, I'll be your eyeliner and a Jew. <laughs> right, she got the I, do. I don't doubt right. it. I don't you doubt it. it. Your favorite here? Oh, I love him. I know. Funny story. We had this guy that worked for a shop I worked at for a long time. We'll leave names out of it. He was having a hard time figuring out what clients wanted. Do you want it realistic? Do you want it cartoony? Do you want it neo traditional? Do you too many questions, dude? People come in for tattoos. They show you a picture. That's what they can want, dude. You know what I mean? So yeah. this is the tattoo. It's the dandelion with the ones blowing away on it. It might be. It might have been birds. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Same tattoo. <laughs> yeah. um, so he's going through the ringer on like you know well, what kind of style do you want do you want fat lines do you want it saw like just too, too many questions dude this customer's head's about to blow up like way too much information right. right um so he decides that she probably wants it kind of realistic and says that it's out of his wheelhouse and she should probably book it with the boss <laughs> oh yeah. let, that sink, let that sink in let that sink in like the, so, on, so boss was all excited to come into work because he had lined up uh, no, he was tattoo. there. He was he was there. He lost his mind as soon as the client left. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I think the guy got fired the same day. But dude, like, oh. how do you just let that sink in, man? You think the artist was just trying to not do it as best he could and trying to find excuses? No, else not better? even. He he was so confused and like concerned on uh, you know, figuring out what the client wanted. I'm like, dude. Right. The, you know, just she wants that fucking tattoo, the same one you did five of yesterday. Dumb what's luck. The, I went to look. The, <laughs> Knuckles tattoo. What's the first word? I can't see it. Oh, dumb. dumb? Yeah, it is dumb. Yeah, I love it when you have something so like this because I get it. Okay, together it makes sense. But at the rest of the time, everybody is. Looking I hope he loses right his left hand. I hope he loses yes. his left hand. So he's just, he's dumb. just dumb. <laughs> but all the time, how often do you see your hands together? I mean, it, honestly, it's it's less than fifty percent of the time. You go that's to great. shake somebody's hand, you put dumb forward every time. Hey, how uh, you doing? Right. Dumb. Yeah. First thing I think of when I see this guy, dumb. What's dumb. his nickname? Dumb. 
I just yeah, how could it be? Yeah, you're it's on the job site. It's so self-explanatory. You can't come up with anything. I love this guy. <laughs> to me, look this at looks like, like look at the, the kielbasa the, roll on the back of his neck. It's stretched out right now, but you can tell where it is. That's like the mouth of this thing or the nose. Oh, yeah, right. If he looks up, that kielbasa roll on the back of his good head neck yeah. is like a mouth. weird or a giant nose. The eyes are giant yes. too. So are yeah. his ears. Yes, yeah, weird. Yeah, stupid. I mm-hmm. that agree. One. No pen, no. no gain. No uh, pen, it might, it might no be a different game. language. <laughs> you think? Definitely. You don't think she's language. the writer that's just stupid? Yeah, this like, I want to tell the world. I love this. I one. like the blackout in the, the yeah, belly yeah. button wasn't big enough. He's like, no, blow that <laughs> right now. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. This cow is you know, responsible for all the methane fucking greenhouse globing. <laughs> out for Nobel Peace Prize shit. Noble. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I'd do that to that guy. You would? Yeah. yeah. Be- he came up at a convention or he walked into the shop around Christmas time. I'd be like, yeah, your grandkids are going to be <laughs> stoked this year. What is the animal? What's the animal I, on the I, side of his head? It's a dingo eating a baby. I don't, I don't know. It. I question whether this is an actual tattoo, though, or whether he, it's like face paint for a, for a football game. He, pa- he passed out. He passed out at a party. <laughs> he passed out at a party. You don't think he's like uh, he's into the Wallabies or something in New Zealand and he just showed up like uh, looking down be. there? The Chupacabras. What about this pleated shirt? Or is that a pinstripe? Hold on. We got to zoom out a little bit. Looks like. a. Oh, yeah. I hope it's sleeveless. I, I think hope he's it's from sleeveless. The future. I hope it's sleeveless. And he's got no shirt under it. <laughs> <laughs> I at first look at this thought it was a convict. Um, yeah, picture, yeah, like, it looks like very, looks very, yeah, it looks very booked. booked but those are not not the greens, local, you know, or orange. Those aren't yeah. state issue. Yeah, right. No, well, yeah, yeah. This one's genius. Yeah, this, I can love it. I know. I have them all on my hip. I almost put a spoonful of cocoa pebbles, and then like uh-huh. under my under. Yeah. Well, I have all the all the food stuff. Anyways, I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, uh, not currently. Let me see if I can get rid of my my. Uh, oh, it's cool. Share. Yes, I'm not yes. tripping for everybody. All right. Well, I will real quick. But <laughs> I know you better than that. Yeah, you will. Well, I was going to do a spoon with that mole, and then right underneath here, do like a lighter, like I was lighting the cereal spoon because I'm a cereal junkie, kind of thing. But no, I I quit getting tattooed. Uh, <laughs> oh, you quit getting tattooed? Yeah. No, it's dumb, dude. It's tattoos dumb. Are. Like, yeah, tattoos are. I dumb. don't. You know what I mean? It was cool when nobody talked to me about them, but now it's like, man, you can't even walk to the grocery store. So what am I looking at here, though, inside um, of your right area? Now, I came out to smoke, but I am out back of um, the studio uh, that I just put a booth in. So I'm going to be back to tattooing after taking a hiatus since June. Much needed. It was I was doing too many uh, working Tattoos. for somebody else, and it just it burned me out. I wanted. I still don't have much urge to do it, but you know, I got people that I will take care of. Um, that I'd like to keep that doing. There's people that I do enjoy, but uh, besides that, I've been out back of the studio. Um, it's pretty much open to any kids that come in and want to paint. We around out here. I just did Hulk Hogan and and Macho Man. Slow down on some of this for me. Is that a Batman? Oh, that's Macho there. That's, that's, uh, the, belt. that's the belt I didn't finish. But there's Hulk, and there's fucking my boy Macho Man. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can flip my camera around here. Uh, that's dumb, though. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Um, me and uh, the kid that owns the studio. Um, I now just when bought... I say studio. That's why I want to stop. Hold up. You're not yeah. a tattoo artist anymore. You do tattoos, but you kind of took a whole life change, right? And to preface yeah. that, let me first say you tattooed my neck. And then let me also say you didn't tattoo my neck, but you tattooed my neck. You tattooed no, my like, trapezoid. Yeah, yeah, part of the people in the Remember Clavical. when, dude, it was in the lobby of a hotel in Iowa after the show on a Sunday it was night. Iowa. It was, okay. It was pretty sick. And then I think you brought me to the airport the next day. I thought about that the other day, too. I ran across the picture of us in the car, I think. Um, but yeah, that was a great time. That was when doing shows was fun. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do for you. Um, okay. Yes. The kid that owns the studio. This is a graffiti supply store. So it's, it's an art supply store. We just carry graffiti supplies. Um, he's a muralist for is hire. Is that the way uh, you have to word it? Is that like when somebody comes in, you're like, no, you buy a rose in the glass. This is like because paraphernalia. You you can't have a graffiti supply store, otherwise you'll be charged with every accomplice to every um, vandalism in the neighborhood. 
Correct. Uh, if you were to okay. Google that, though, a lot of shops pop up. Uh, okay. What is the, 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 uh, there's a couple other ones. Grab everybody has their own Graph City in, in Boston. Uh, this is uh, Ryan Gardell, Artifact Studios. Um, we met each other a couple of years ago because I do a lot of mural painting and, and um, legal graffiti as well. Uh, yeah, so, you don't do any illegal graffiti, right? No. Oh, why would I do that? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Honestly, I never know. You started in this. You used to do illegal graffiti. Oh, dude, I've, been spray, I've been spraying fucking spray paint since 1995. What do you mean? So, why? It, explain to me. Of- yeah, but but you go. And you put uh, up something that you think's pretty and they hate. Not necessarily. In a lot of cases, it's not somebody's property. Have you ever done rail carts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're, curious, you're like, you get me set up, Kyle. The reason I ask more is thank you. It's because fucking trains are boring. Does anybody else know this? And um, out there are some hungry ass artists that are spending their own hard earned money, time and risking their own uh, imprisonment to make me have something to view while this going by. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to take a walk down the street because we haven't painted the whole corner of a couple of buildings over here. And then we'll go back into the shop. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's the rest of the backyard of our place. That's what I paint that you can't read. So I get away with painting uh, stuff that's not trains trains i mean yeah you can't read it anyways that's that's kind of the idea you know what i mean I, if you can read what i write and i get caught then i catch uh oh we're getting far from your wi-fi so if you're patient that they can't read you get away with it then you're not gonna catch a ton of charges so yeah it'd be like anybody could have done that how do you know it's me yeah, exactly. It was a long, uh, well, I guess the last time I got caught, I was late 20s, maybe 30. Um, I was painting with two friends. Uh, cops rolled through, everybody ran. Um, cop coincidentally had a dog with him, and I left my bag there. So they fucking walked like a half mile down the track, found me hiding in the bushes. Um, and he, he detained me and brought me back to the place and wanted to know which one I painted. He saw two. I see two spots of fresh paint. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, there's a red one and a blue one. He didn't see the gray one I was doing. So I was like, I did the red one. I, again, if I had to tell him what I wrote, then my shit was already all over Augusta Bain and I would have got fucking nailed, you know? So if you get tagged with somebody else's tag, then you can't get you busted right. for your see, own the, tag. This, this is uh, the intersection where our shop is. That's the dude I split the studio with, Ryan. Oh, that's uh, cool. That's a barber shop and some other stuff's in that building, but um the building the neighborhood's not quite gentrified but we've uh got the rest of these buildings all lined up for you know come springtime this for, uh, for this painting is, them yeah this is so the one i do fire that's oh, cool it's good dude i don't care you're gonna pay me just like tattoo of us spray painting is way better this is uh i did this one uh late summer that's three cool. or four nights in a row all red like can there. Do you use all any pen or any, any? Oh, fuck no. Like, that's my favorite spot. The sun cutting through the trees. Yeah, it's, uh, awesome. let's see. Let's see. I'm going to make me bigger so I can see this shit. But yeah, this is, uh, I'll spray paint. There's no cheating. There's no paint markers. That's cheating? No, there's no cheating. This is all. Yeah, but, but you, you call that cheating, though, if somebody uses a. Oh, fuck yeah. Where are your tools, dude? Where, <laughs> Why is that tools, cheating? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but, well, it's well, it is just another tool, though. It is it is a tool. Um, so. It's got its place. It's got its place. You're not going to use it outside of a fucking building. Use it in a notepad or on a canvas. Um, this is uh, the next building over. We've run this whole thing. Um, and then we got some friends. This kid's from Atlanta. Uh... This, uh, I don't know where these guys are from, but this is all different people. This is Croc Paints. He's a kid out of Boston. That's not him. That's some Worcester famous guy. Worcester? Oh, let's talk about where we're at. We're in Worcester then right now. Massachusetts, yeah. Massachusetts. I, I say Worcester. You say Worcester. Yeah, we get these spots, and then we're, you know what I mean? Because we did it, then we get access to, like, the back of the building, this whole brick spot, and 
that doesn't have to be the shit you see from the street. So when we got friends roll through, you know, I mean, you can, you can paint the back of the yard at the shop, but it's going to get burned over. That might ride yeah. for a month or two, but somebody's going to paint over it. So the guys that come out of town, we get in these spots and uh, they get shit that rides for a while. And this is just our neighborhood up here in Tatnick. If you get down near Kelly Square and shit, we got two or three buildings and the alleyways in between that we got uh, access to and shit too. So it's fun that we get these hot spots, but we got them legally. Yeah. So I'm like, not going to put my name out there. That? I mean, uh, it's now you're getting paid put, for it too, right? Yeah, yeah. And you, can, you get to put the time into it. Um, mm-hmm. Unlike painting a, night or painting, you know, paint a train and the train fucking fires up and leaves halfway through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or uh, you know, the yeah. workers start walking the yard at, at 3.30 in the morning for whatever reason. Maybe somebody heard something or maybe that train's getting ready to leave and they're walking through the yard. You got to duck and hide from them. Um, How many times have you been busted? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good time. Is, is that part of, that's part of the fun then, isn't it? It's like hide and go oh, seek. Yeah. Art. Even if you don't art just go to the highway and you don't get caught, it, it's sketchy, dude. You're fucking full of adrenaline when you're done. Right on. You know what I mean? You, you, yeah, you feel like hours, macho, like fucking wanting to go back out and do more. And it's funny because that's, dude, uh, aside from pushing a pencil or markers, um, spraying paint is the longest art form I've been involved in, I guess, since 1995. I mean, I was drew, drawn before that, but I started that and fucking still, I did it straight through. Tattoo was like 22 years, 23, and I'm still going. I'm at the point now where I've been doing circle. it longer than half my life. Which is kind of weird when you think of it that way. So yes, yeah, it's, like it's to, uh, pretty full circle because you're also using those in your sculptures. No, what's that? You're using your your rattle cans in your sculptures. Are you using? Oh yeah, an there's airbrush? tattoo tubes and shit in there too. I, I use all kinds of stuff in there. Um, we'll walk back in and check that out. Here's this bird again. This is back to the backyard of the shop. I like that we're able to get help you get your uh, steps in today. Oh yeah, I, I want to say art artifact. That's the the name of our studio supply store. All right. um, which now has the tattoo booth inside, so I'll be doing appointments as soon as I get the health department here. Like we just finished it like a week ago, so I the health department into. Uh, so it's still clean. You want to show it off then? Yeah, we can. no, it's not clean. I've been epoxying a bunch of stuff in there. Oh, okay. Um, I'll show you a couple. Because that is, that. I'm extremely interested not just in your sculptures, but also your process of them. Because honestly, it's inspired me. Look at those fuckers. I love it. This one's just spray painted now. I'll get in and I'll airbrush and clean this stuff up. Oh, this isn't finished? No, no. This is just uh, the spray paint color on the... uh, You've yeah, already also, applied also, some kind of epoxy, right? No, that's just, uh, yeah, I use like a plastic coat, like a, um, what do they call that shit? Like a flex seal or whatever to seal everything up because I got foam, metal, there's plastic, there's all kinds of shit. So if I use that uh, peel away paint, plastic dip, I put a heavy coat of that on, then I unload a couple of cans okay. of spray paint and build it up some. And then, uh, then I'll epoxy them when they're all done. This one's all that's epoxy cool. and everything. These are, these are some of the first ones. I got a snowboard that I'm going to be doing one on. A couple of snowboards, actually. Show me the one next to the snowboard there. Yeah, yeah. This guy. Very Geiger-esque. Yeah, the colors and the pieces and stuff. Are you, When you're making these, are you... It, it almost... I'm, I'm going to cut it down, but I hope it comes as praise as the praise I mean. It, there's an amount of this. It looks like you just grabbed a bunch of shit that you found and started throwing it on top of a table and then started gluing pieces. And then you're like, well, this needs this. Yeah, What's this, the process? I mean, do you, do you sketch these things first? Mm, first couple. Yeah. The, uh, this is okay. cardboard. PVC pipe. Piece of clip cord. Oh, we're losing you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, it's probably just switched back over to Wi-Fi, I bet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Now that you but but uh, yeah. You you hear me talking now? about PVC cord, glow stick. A glow That's stick? Like a okay. Yeah. Halloween glow sticks. That's a charger cord to a computer or something. PVC pipe, straws. That's so how PC. has your 
that's your trash that's a, that's a has significantly thing. reduced. Like like what you normally put out to the road, you're probably putting half of that out now, right? You're saving yeah, all I'm, these things. Like I'm, this, I'm, this I'm be picking, cool. I'm picking through them. Um, oh wow! Yes. Well, what what's your time inside of a piece like this that we're looking at? Well, the first couple were a few hours. Um, I get them down to a day now. Uh, yeah, say a few hours, a few days. That's okay. cabinet, cabinet I started that I'm going to redo. Uh, what are you looking to turn these things over for? Oh, a thousand bucks. They're a little cheaper on the smaller ones. Depends on how much is into them. Right. These are of the course. Ones too. Like, they're going to start getting more detail because as I'm going through, this is another one I haven't airbrushed yet, but I made the frames and everything. You haven't airbrushed that one yet? No. But Let's him look at it frame. again for a second. I love that one. Now, are you keeping the colors that color? Or? Yeah, but I'll pull a little bit more dark browns into some of the skull and some lighter highlights. Maybe make the eye like a cataract it out with a little bit of blue or something. I like the contrast uh, between the two. Don't don't yeah. lose it too much. Well, for me. Well, I'll do but, a little bit lighter. Like the corner, I'll streak lighter on the top, and the bottom could be a little bit darker. Right. Uh, and then there's To this me, they there. remind me of like pieces in carbonite. You know, yeah, like if Han Solo was doing art while he was frozen or something. The, the way they're framed, sure. Yeah, this that looks sick. Uh, this was uh, a little more tricky because you don't just have a flat surface. So you got to, this is just a regular rectangle frame. You know what I mean? So I gave it the the medieval okay, you like, shape to the top. You know what I mean? That was all cardboard added on to the top of the frame. And then uh, the skull. Hardened with epoxy. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of hot glue, um, super glue, super glue, hot glue, really. Yeah, there's all our paint okay. selection, and then also, um, expanding foam. Oh, and that's that's my booth right there in the shop. That's where the magic happens, where I'm epoxying everything right now. Let, let's start back when art first became a thing. How old are you? Um, I heard stories because I, I don't remember them, but I'd always, shoot, I always drew since I was a kid. Bore with a pencil, basically. My mom said at my kindergarten screening, they had this like half a stick figure thing that you had to draw the other side of, and they literally had to like pry me away from it. I was doing claws and teeth and uh, <laughs> apparently drawing a monster out of the thing. Like I was only supposed to finish the other half of a stick figure, but. Uh, that doesn't surprise. That didn't surprise me. Uh, Did they get worried? Were they like, "Oh shit, this kid's coming on"? No, they put me to the front of the class. No, I don't. I don't know what happened. Probably okay. my mom just tell me that part. Um, <laughs> She's like, they they knew to keep out for you because you were drawing yeah. dead bodies from the beginning. Right, right. Uh, must have been around fourth grade or something. Um, uh, Guns N' Roses' "Appetite for Destruction" album cover. I was drawing that, drawing Molly Cruz, Doctor Feelgood. Album. Album. Album cover too, or just the crosses? No, the that never made sense to me until way later. That that was like a girl with her panties. Like it was so busy seeing it as a kid. I just I thought it was uh, just a lady like taking a nap right. in the alleyway or something. I'm not sure. But at the same time, I used to look at all the all the tattoos on Axl Rose and Slash and be like, "Oh, they're so fucking badass." Have you ever seen them? They're okay. still they're still like the one you were showing me earlier. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. It's rock, that's story. rock and roll, man. Bad tattoos are rock and roll. So uh, I was drawing that shit in fourth grade, fifth grade. Um, I remember McDonald's had a thing like, what did you, you could see some drawing for kids. I don't remember what the prize was, uh, but I drew. You got me to party with kids. a clown for an hour without parents. <laughs> yeah, I drew me in a band with, uh, you know, other people. I don't know if one was my brother or other friends or whatever. Like I said, I was fucking 12 years old. Uh, right. All tattooed and like spiked hair and mohawks. Um, yeah, so I wanted to be did a rock star right from, right from the gate. No, no, but I did win a thing. Um, for St. Patrick's Day in the newspaper one time, uh, my no, grandma. You can't was, win with the, the with the subject matter that you went with for McDonald's. McDonald's, the be, it could have been drawn the best, and you're like a rock band with a mohawk. Yeah, but they want they want Ronald McDonald like creepily watching a kid eating a cheeseburger with a hamburger <laughs> and fucking eyes in the background, like they drew our next commercial. You know? Right, 
then, uh, yeah, so then uh, these comic books and shit, I got into Spawn and Wolverine, so we were drawing our own comic characters, being a couple of the kids in school. Spawn being, of course, McFarland then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, him and Greg Capullo both are pretty fucking awesome. I, I met like, Greg Capullo. Yeah, sick. I liked his Creech characters and stuff. I'd met him on the show, the Ink Master show. Yeah. Um, he was a guest judge for a day. It's fucking uh, awesome, cool. right? Dude, well, it's so awesome. That. And then, uh, and I didn't do the worst piece that day, so that was kind of nice too. <laughs> right, um, right. Go to see him at a at a at a comic con, and he has a fucking line of people, two hundred plus, waiting to see him. Oh wow! Yeah, and yeah. he's he completely shut the line down, hung out with me and my son and my wife for a minute. Bought my the, my son like a Batman thing. So this is after him. you. This is after you met him through Ink Master or before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was after yeah I would like him. to say. I would like to say it was before. Like he thought I was cool enough. Where like yeah. he's like, like fuck these people for the rest yeah. of my life. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. No, he, he was really awesome though. Um, like, man, uh, his artwork. And, and you get to talk to the man about Frazetta too. Yeah. Yeah. You fan? Well, I, yeah, absolutely. I was trying to think the other day. There's a book, a, a picture book, Frank Frazetta and some female uh, artist that uh, does the exact same style shit, but I can't remember what her name was. <laughs> same book, kind of probably. subject matter? Yeah, and, shit, but except her stuff's a little more colorful, spacey, like uh, Valkyrie type chicks like riding polar bears and shit with like starry fucking space backgrounds and stuff. It's uh, it's the happier version of Frank Frazetta shit, kind of. But the exact not, same. It's not yeah. Julie Bell. Maybe I'd have to look at her shit to her. Yeah, maybe because yeah, be. Julie Bell married Boris Vallejo. I want. I'm curious, and Boris uh-huh. Vallejo is kind of similar. I wonder if it's, it is. It's a split book between them. them. Now that you say that, that's a split book between them. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Um, I, I, I personally to... always liked her work slightly better than Boris's. Is that is that scary to say? She always put no, more in her backgrounds. Yeah. Her shit's good. I like the brighter colors and stuff too. I think. Anyways, you... moving on from sucking off to better artists than ourselves. <laughs> right. Well, better artists than myself. I, should, I speak for myself. Yeah, I, I always hate my own shit too. I think that's just uh, the way it is for us. Even uh, the sculptures that you're making now, you got a little hatred for. I'm, I'm pumped on them, but like most of us, we're our own worst critics, and I fucking look at them and like you know what i mean um a lot of them like where this is early see how busy this guy is right okay tattoo tubes a sharpie there's a pencil in there somewhere you um, think it's too guy, busy or what no this guy's not busy enough <laughs> you get that feel okay. out of it so i don't i don't no. but I'll, I'll i'll take your word for it on and then this one you got a lot in here yeah but not you know so far mean? forward. All this stuff, but I think more more tubes, uh, pencil sharpies, some other stuff. Um, but not then, but then it allows you to focus more on what it is because then that piece says, "This is a Krylon head," or "Or this is a guy that really likes to huff paint." That's the other thing. Other. I find some old vintage cans and use vintage cans and not paint them, so it has the natural rust and the natural like old Krylon labels and stuff on. It. Would be pretty right sick. Down. What pretty of sick. um. I got a stupid idea. Maybe you already done it. Uh, you know how there's the uh, the mask that you'll use, the respirator, right? Yep, yep, but instead yep. of the respirator, you got two Krylon Oh, ends. yeah, that's, that's a cool idea. Dude, honestly, it's it's what I like about this, uh, about your artwork. I've seen a couple of your um, sculptures, and I, we started messaging. You sent me a bunch of these sculptures. I was fucking in love oh, with them. I couldn't the stop too. thinking of things that I wanted to do. First, I, a good compliment to an artist, in my opinion, is always when you look at something as another artist, and you're like, man, I wish I did that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the way I feel about every one of That fuels our fire, too. Like you said, you've already thought of 100 things you want to add to it. Let's, let's clap some shit. Well, not actually uh, add to. I, I've, I've got some ideas for things I was like, this would be fun for me to make. Um, but yeah, actually, for, for even you, I guess I, because you're also, the first time I heard that you didn't want a tattoo five years ago, you started a uh, bonsai farm. Oh, yeah. I still got a bunch of those growing out. They're only making more money sitting in the ground. You know what right I mean? On. They're, they're yeah. going to be worth more when they're bigger. So, uh, yeah. And I, you're I also making more. bonsai uh, planters. Doing a lot of ceramics. Yeah, I was doing a lot of ceramics. ceramics. Uh, awesome ones. Yeah, like, I, honestly, I, I, you open up my mind about how much art there can be to making a ceramic. Like, I'm just thinking, 
pottery guys on a wheel wishing that Demi Moore showed or Patrick Swayze showed up behind him. Right. Yeah, I still got a bunch of those growing out. They're only making more money sitting in the ground. You know what right I mean? On. They're, they're yeah. going to be worth more when they're bigger. So, uh, yeah. And I, you're I still also making that. bonsai uh, planters. A lot of ceramics. Yeah, I was doing a lot of ceramics. Uh, awesome ones. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, I, I, you open up my mind about how much art there can be to making a ceramic. Like, I'm just thinking pottery guys on a wheel wishing that Demi Moore showed, or Patrick Swayze showed up behind them. Right. Um, the rest of my make fucking love handles. Yeah. Yeah, but it not at I all. Mean, you were making yeah. things. They're always like skull related. They're partially uh, disintegrated or or, um, or uh, dilapidated. You know what I mean? There's a very a um, very old relic looking. I like that old uh, broken down. Like it's uh, you know what I mean? Post apocalyptic. Makes sense that you would possibly try to use bonsais in these sculptures. Could you make a sculpture like this? Have a bonsai tree growing inside of some kind of almost dead mechanical thing. It, you know, I mean, it's a contrast of the life. I've thought about it, and I think the plan is now that we're rolling into winter, I've got inside shit I can do as opposed to spraying. I mean, we've got a spray booth and stuff here in the studio, but um, it's less painting and more hands-on sculpture stuff. That's why I kind of started these skull things. But uh, I'm going to probably be bored of those within another month or two after I bang out another 10 or 15 more, and then it's on to something else. But I've thought of that, and ceramics is hard because you need to have a kiln and – um, in some cases, a wheel, not always. Uh, does it have to be ceramic that the bonsai is planted in? It doesn't have to. Traditionally, like you have a plant, you put in a ceramic pot. It's the, it's 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 the bread and the butter. You know what I mean? Or the frank yeah. and the beans, or what? They they go together. But I think it's doing them in like a fiberglass. Get like uh, you know, make some sort of chicken wire frame armature. I did okay. some in cement, yeah. but cement breaks down in the winter in the cold. You leave your plants outside in the winter so they go to sleep like a tree does. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, uh, the cement flakes away kind of because it's not a good enough mix to withstand the freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. Freeze and thaw. Right. Yeah. So fiberglass, dude. You know what I mean? I think if I do a chicken wire and I do some cloth netting or whatever, I can then skim it with like a Bondo to make it rigid and then uh, fiberglass wrap the whole thing or even an epoxy resin over the Bondo stuff. Uh, what what I, I was, imagine uh, the sketch in my head was um, a torso uh, disintegrated, whatever. I don't know. I you, you grow, growing up and out of it. Yeah. 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 But maybe this is more lifelike as you get out. The skull uh, is there looking down hand, almost reaching in, touching apart or reaching towards the other hand, maybe exposing, maybe both hands exposing, like ripping yeah. the chest open. But yeah, the hands, yeah. of course, are then a uh, mechanical more. And so the further you get out from the, the tree, the more mechanical the, the artwork becomes. Oh, yeah, that could be cool. Or do you, uh, like, uh, sort of half and half, I guess. Like, the side that the tree is coming out from is, yeah, never mind. You just said that. All, organic, you. No. all organic was this bark turning into the skin still on the bones, and, and then your other side's terminated with the skin peeled away. Or even having some of the skin stretched through. That's cool, yeah. That's what um, I'm, that's what we I, I guess I got to make a trip to Massachusetts. Yeah, I like it out, not, the stormtrooper the stormtrooper Star Wars type stuff too. Um, um That's going to sell. You're a fan. You are a fan of Star Wars even still, right? Uh, absolutely. Like the Even the, though the, it sucks nowadays. You you're a big fan. Three years, yeah, dude, we were never going to get the Empire Strikes back back. You know what I mean? Like I didn't go see them with any expectations of having my mind blown. You know what I mean? The newest bad guys of uh, he's like that kid from grandma's boy. <laughs> you know what I okay. mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Teams are Sith Lord bad guy. Like, come on. But yeah. how did he see me? The they one were hugging okay. the wall with his trench, his black trench coat. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and they go into his office and he's blaring techno and he's just like, yeah, I'm making the best video annoyed. game ever. Yeah. Annoyed that somebody came in there and I asked him a question. Right. And then he takes yes. his lightsaber and smashes all the computers and stuff. I'm like, Jesus Christ. What He's the hell is that? One more he, thing, sir. Yeah. He's traveling with two droids. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm going to destroy my room. God, why didn't you love me? Yeah. Temper tantrum. Daddy issues. He killed Han Solo. That was kind of uh, off. 
Come uh, on. He, we knew he was. Perfect. How do you, if I am um, a deadbeat father and I see my son and I've heard rumor that he's a little bit of a Sith Lord <laughs> and he invites me to go have a reunion on a dangerous precipice with no OSHA approved rail. Yeah, we might have a grudge, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I would just, hey, why don't you come over here, son? No, we'll meet over here. You know what? I'll meet you at the food court, the lower level. <laughs> right, right, right. Emancipate. We'll get some Panda Express. We'll talk about things. How have you been? Have you seen your mother lately? Yeah, she's got the weird hair still. I, she's she's weird. I don't know. There's so many things wrong with that movie. That was, I just couldn't help but wonder where OSHA was. I get it that you're building this awesome Death Star, and maybe because it has the name Death Star, you don't worry about things being handicap accessible. Hey, we're back. I'm back. You were switching in between Wi Fi and data. I'm well, sure. What I did is I just shut off my Wi Fi, so we'll just stay on my data plan. Ah. I, had a problem. I didn't get enough charge earlier. I feel, um, I feel honored somewhat. You're spending money on me now. Or even if it's not your money, you're spending your data plan on me, which is maybe more well, important than money. I, I got unlimited data. Shh. Make me feel special. <laughs> right, Come on, right. No, we, you, yeah, you, no, you I, I, would spend, I would, I would pay. Extra, extra on my phone bill for you. I would. Yeah, fifteen cents or thirty-three cents a minute. What are we looking at? What, what's the dr what's the line? You're you're done. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd spend fifty-five on you. Just just heads would, up, brother. I'd spend sixty-five. I would. Yeah, let you get locked up, and I'd spend fifteen dollars just to hear you tell me you need bail money. Yeah, I'd, I'd answer your <laughs> club call too. Yeah. Would you? Would you like Kyle? I'm in Massachusetts. You're so screwed, bro. <laughs> like. <laughs> You need to start a GoFundMe page. Come on, you know the way. Well, my only fans are starting to take off now that it's the end of the year. I did like a monthly calendar shoot thing, and did uh, you? I got no, a mail. Did you? No, I wish, I, but I might go into okay. this year doing it. I might okay. go into this year doing it. Well, I know uh, after you, after anybody would quit tattooing, especially you've been tattooing over twenty years. Am I wrong? Yep, yep. half my life started when I was 20, 21 years old. I'm uh, forty four today. And this is a big thing. I don't know if any, to me, I recognize what a big thing it is because you, you're stepping off of your safety net, right? I mean, you're bringing it back. You always knew you could fall. It's kind of like yeah. tattooing was your fallback. Like mother right, might be like, I don't know, you're going to tattoo. I hope you also know how to do some mechanic work because it might not work out. Right, right, you, right. Uh, you are like, well, I got tattoos. I can go do sculptures. Kind of. Um, one of the main things of me quitting, like I said, I was just too booked. Uh, working for somebody else, um, you know, five tattoos a day, four or five days a week. Like I would rather, I, I can do five in a week and survive off the way I live. You know what I mean? I don't know anybody, anything. My kid's a fucking adult. I own my vehicle. I, you know what I mean? I rent, I don't own a home. I don't pay property taxes. Uh, yeah. I can survive off. You don't off, have off, a Netflix account. No, I don't. I don't watch TV. I go to sleep. Yeah. I keep my hands busy doing shit. I don't have idle hands. That's, you know, that's why I got all that shit going. Uh, I wish I had it a little more far along, but those boxes in the back of my truck there are um, HO scale train sets and tracks and uh, all the locomotives box cars. And I'm building like a diorama, like a post-apocalyptic city with it's all torn down and like destroyed. And the train's going to be covered in graffiti and all the buildings are going to be all burned out and shit. And uh, yeah, it's going to go all the way around the fucking shop. Uh, you got some zombified Thomas the Train tank engines out there with a or a little Ringo star with half his face. Oh, no, they're all, they're all like, uh, like, uh, replicas of real, real boxcars and trains. They're all like a smaller scale. They're, um, it's the yeah. old man model train set. Yeah. The but you're not going to add a bunch of bio to him and start spraying spray foam on it. And then, then make oh, no, it the background, like the mountainscapes and the rocky scapes and shit will all be spray foam and Bondo and, uh, but you the know, trains so you're not touching. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll see. Maybe. But uh, I just, um, I collected, a, I got like a rape van from Hot Wheels. Well, it's not a rape van, but I'm going to black out the windows and paint it white, the steel wheels and shit, so it looks rapey. Um, and then I'm gonna, uh, I got like a Firebird and an old Barracuda and shit that I'll pop the wheels off, I'll burn them, and then like dust some sand over them so they look like they've been sitting in the desert for like 100 years. Yeah. Can you put uh, them up the on blocks goes, too? The train like just goes remember. fucking screaming by. What's that? What's that movie? What's the movie that they did? The uh the people that live on a train and, and travel around the po the apocalyptic fucking uninhabitable world. Snowpiercer. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's a train it was, and it they live on. on that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. On. The poor people live in the back. Rich people live in the front, and they they fight. And 
I, I don't know. I, I watched some of it, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> this I don't sounds like a to, terrible move premise. I don't pay attention to TV or movies that much. Uh, it's got to really, right. unless it's like what's the movie Idiocracy? Uh, that yeah. show that they watch. Ouch my balls! I watch that shit all day. People get hurt on the balls. Internet. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, You're a fan. You know, yeah, ridiculousness, all that shit. I, I would watch people just get hurt all day, and uh, that's fail nation. That's what's your what's your uh, what's your favorite moment that you've been able to observe? You're in Massachusetts, full of massacres. Yeah. You yeah. guys have a special love for common sense, you know, like, uh, and you love to see somebody fail at it. Absolutely. Nothing funnier yeah. than somebody pushing on a pull door. Tell me I'm wrong. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Or walking what? into the black ones. Yes. What's your favorite that you've seen, but no camera was around? Anything? Uh, I tumbled down two sets of scaffolding um, painting. Oh, you did it yourself? Yeah, I was standing on a bucket on top of the scaffolding, and uh, which wasn't, I was, dude, I'm like three stories this, up, you know what I mean? It's not OSHA approved either. So I bro. fell off the bucket. Uh, I wasn't tied up or anything, and I bounced and tried to catch my balance on the one plank, and I fell off it, and I caught the next one down, like face down. Um, and how sat close there to death? I could have broken something if I played code all the way through the staging or fell fucking 30 feet, you know what I mean? All for but free, I, but I didn't fall, it was awesome. It's sick when, like, the, the feeling when you sit there living like heart beating, racing, realizing that you almost just could have died or like got hurt and you didn't is it's a good rush. I live for that shit. I'm guessing. Uh, it, do yeah, you the miss it thing? then? Because you're not, you're doing everything so legal now. Th that I know of. Oh no, this was this one was legal, but yeah, no, okay. I, I moved. I moved like an ninja in the dark. No, it wasn't legal if you were doing it on. I, I sorry to inform you, uh, if you were doing it on a five gallon bucket, that is not OSHA. I'm no, sorry. it's not. But that gets us an extra sixteen inches higher in the train yard. Yeah, yeah, and so that's the trains are like waist high. You know what I mean? You can't you can't paint a lot if you only get up waist and up. I wish that they allowed like all of that room at the bottom and just becomes cover-ups because people can only reach so high they should make more ladders accessible for you guys they should it, it's just we have trash spots what i need for, is those drywall see those drywallers okay. that yeah ceilings and shit need a pair of those yeah. i don't think i can get four feet up but you give me a couple of feet i'll learn how to walk on them well and, and you could also different. dress up like uncle sam then and just act like you came from a parade i'm not fucking <laughs> dagging nothing yeah i just got off this train it's a carnival train <laughs> Right. We, did, we were at the bar yeah. one night. We were at the Where bar the fuck one night. Are the elephants? <laughs> and uh, the train line is right behind the bar. And literally, the circus stopped there. And there was fucking people hanging out of the fucking windows and shit. A um, couple of like the, the roadies or the carnies, whoever they are, got out. And I was like, bring the bearded lady out. I want to see the fucking bring out the freak show. You know what I mean? I'll buy everybody a drink. They didn't come out. But, uh, no, but those guys awesome. are the freak show. We already know the the, the meth squad that puts those <laughs> yeah, those those yeah. things together. Your children are going to ride on all weekend. Right. Yeah, right. I don't know. Zip tie there's is probably like a, good enough. Right. Yeah, there's a baggie, ziplock baggie full of extra parts when they're done putting yeah. it together. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't yeah. know where they want. Don't put it up. Dude, I was on a, uh, in Texas. I don't know that I'll ever ride on these things again uh, because of this. I Once I, I used to put them time. together. What's that? I haven't been on rides at all. What well, I think there's, they're not getting newer. No, I think, yeah, absolutely. Not. Those are the same rides since we were kids. You know, the same right. tilt to whirl sold to seven different, you know, hopeful carny yeah. men uh, that that takes a team of pedophiles and meth heads to put together and then move it's state to state. The bulls probably every decade because they're fucking rust right through. I'm in one of these, right, and it goes upside down. I forget what kind of thing it was it's it like uh, it was probably this yeah okay um yeah. and i have my phone out because i'm an idiot i don't know i'm filming it we look at me having fun you know you don't have fun <laughs> unless you film it now so i'm right. just trying to get some something to share for the gram i guess have the phone in my hand and as we go it falls out oh that's a bad thing to happen well i don't want to lose my phone right so uh it's like floating in air in front of me <laughs> Right. right. I'm relatively quick and athletic. But ha, I go to grab it. It doesn't grab, but because of the way it was going, it lands on the floor and I real quick to grab it out. I get off of the ride. Right. And the guy, the carney working the ride says, oh, yeah, I seen you up there. Almost lose your arm. I'm like, huh? He's like, oh, yeah. If you would have reached out and tried to grab that phone. Yeah. Your arm would have got caught. And he points at a spot where he seems to know arms get caught at. 
and hasn't <laughs> red flag or warned anybody. <laughs> he says, oh, yeah, he would have lost your arm right there. Awesome. Yeah, I, I was, I, yeah, I really. I tend to take out projects that are uh, arts and crafts time. You know what I mean? I'm doing all the sculpt, sculpt, trash sculpture, foam, fucking wire, bits and pieces I can find, glue them all together, and making those right now. I might do more stuff like the uh, more mirror frames or like um, I thought you could do like, let's say you have a cutout window between your living room and your kitchen, like a bar window type deal. You know what I mean? I could almost make an insert. I can make the pieces to fit right on it. If I have the dimensions, I can make a frame, fly cardboard over it, build the whole sculpture piece on that. And then I'd be able to mail them and you just slide them over the fucking ends of the wood. And you got a framed out piece of uh, what looks like the Giga Museum or the right. Soldano Museum or whatever. You know what I mean? The Soldano Museum. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're you going to start to make baseboard and, and, and finish trim. A crown molding and shit like that. Yeah. You could do it like that. Yeah, that'd be sick. I could see it in your background, all up on the corner of your house, running right down the wall. I need a bunch of it. You can see I just got this stupid pine up here in my my, yeah. my uh, art room. Yeah, yeah. We could, uh, when you're back in Massachusetts, get a couple extra days and we can hang out, and make some shit, and then uh, you could see the process or whatever and run with it. Most of this is uh, the materials here: spray foam. Any bit of yeah, junk I, that you I, find, and then I've made a lot of molds off of stuff to um, decrease cost. Um, that skull was just like a Halloween skull or some shit, so I made uh, a silicone mold off it with um, silicone caulking. There's a little bit Wait, of mold. You made the mold just yeah. with cheap caulking uh, from Home Depot. Uh, I love it more the, because of this. The skull that I the skull that I got from it was one of those shitty foam ones, and I put a bunch of sculpey clay on it and made it look better, and then I made a mold off of that. So I got to customize it and make a more aggressive looking school compared to the goofy one you buy from fucking Walmart for four bucks. Right. You know, some other like uh, uh, oil filters and shit like that. I made molds off some of these pieces. Um, a part of a kickstand frame from a bike. Uh, I recently just got a bunch of Nerf guns with the uh, purpose of making some molds off the the mechanic parts of the guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Instead of having to find that shit or go buy it, you know what I mean? If I had to buy all or the make it out of cardboard. Food. Right. You know what I mean? Even the cardboard stuff, I made molds off a lot of those ones that I folded up so I don't have to fold all the cardboard anymore. I take a can of spray foam insulation and bang out a whole line of molds that I made. And then that usually there's doubles of everything. So it gives me enough to start a couple at a time. I like that. This seems like you too, because this is something that you applied to tattooing. I've seen people, you, you've always done bioorganic. You've done all yep. all sorts of tattooing, but bioorganic. Like when who, your, when your, I first started, somebody showed me who Eric Kane and Guy Atchison were, and it fucking like I was hooked. That was the shit. I was been obsessed with aliens and all that shit too, and Predator and all. Well, the, the Giger shit, the Alien series. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, so I was fairly familiar with what that was, and then when I saw it was in tattooing, I was like, "What the fuck?" And uh, yeah, that was the start of all that for sure. And and you found ways to do a similar tattoo. To other people, what would take some people days? I've seen you doing hours. There's would you say I'm wrong? That what's yeah, that? There's a formula to everything. Like I've tattooed enough things that um, there's a like formula to all of it. A lot of times, like I don't even fuck around with an outline. I'll just mag everything out and then go back and clean up an outline at the end, and that saved me an hour right there. You know what I mean? Instead of worry, because yeah. sometimes when you shade shit out, all those lines you put in don't fucking matter because you shade a black off. So yeah, it's back you're gonna out with black. But it's you know you do something a hundred times and you create that formula for it, and there's no more experimenting or or figuring out as you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I do because that was one of the reasons I wanted to use you to finish my trapezoid pieces because I knew yeah. they were gonna hurt like hell, and I didn't yeah. want to be there for three sessions. Right, so right. You got right. done. I don't know. It's like four hours, maybe, maybe a little yeah. more. It was both sides. Well, was both sides yeah. Yeah. I probably Impressive. do it faster nowadays. What's that? I probably do it faster nowadays. Sometimes some of the shit I've drawn, I did a kid's hand and forearm in like uh, 
it was only a couple hours, but it was black and gray, but it was, you know what I mean? Like I sketched it on in two different Sharpies. So I knew what was gray, what was black. And then fucking 15 back the whole thing. And it was done in no time. And sometimes it's hard to know when to say when, and sometimes when is like, when you look at it and like everything is consistent enough and it all has the same amount of it flows and that's it. You know what I mean? Sure. That's I can add you're more. Done. Yeah, it's, yeah, I can add more bits and hoses and wires and then all of a sudden it's too much. It's, it's cluttered. It doesn't read as well. It doesn't flow as well. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes that shit just goes fucking fast. Because I fight, I fight with the, the, I am I done to, or but, not? Right, right, right. Because you're going to one step away from fucking it up and you're or or not doing enough. Right. Or just making it look like it's uh, too busy. You know what I mean? It doesn't it won't read as well. Or, you know, what I mean? especially when you, if you're working in color and you've got two different color layers, um, one's got to stay really clean and readable. The other one can be busy, but, you don't you get them both busy and you and you see it in black and white or low lighting and the whole thing's just muddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you keep one of them really light and clean and readable, and the other one can have all the black shading and all the detail, and it still reads reads well. Where do we contact to buy the pieces that you have that we just got to um, see? See more of your pieces, and where do we get work from you? How do we get a hold of you? Um, through Instagram. Um, through it there, you'll find uh, the Artifact Studios, and I'll have my artwork and stuff listed on there for sale as well. Um, address all that. Uh, and we'll have lists in that. What is your in- Instagram? Um, at Soldado Paints, uh, I'm one of very S-O-L-D. few Soldado. So. L-D. I was I always want to put it S A. Yeah, yeah. The, a lot of people misspell it, but it's uh, Soldado. It's it's exactly how it's spelled and sounds. Um, like I said, very few of us. So uh, if you're spelling it right, it pops up on Instagram. Yeah, Picture Soldado, you and you'll know. At Soldado Paints. I'm with it. Well, thanks for being a part of this, brother. I do appreciate yeah, it. Good chat. I miss you guys. Uh, make sure you let me know when you're coming back out here. And like I said, set aside a couple of days and we'll do some art or go see some shit or do something. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited actually to do that. See the process. Good time. And I'm still in the works. Of, uh, I got a couple of people that want paint out in Michigan and I want to go to guest spot at Marshall's. So um, I'll definitely keep you informed on that. I don't know how far yeah, you dude, are. We're just up the, up the road, about 45 okay. minutes. And we'll definitely probably, get together uh, to eat if nothing else. Yeah, I'll probably go for a week, so I got time to do some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got a great mushroom place here and uh, a great marijuana place where it's, it's like nice. just to hang out, do mushrooms, and uh, and smoke and a lot that, of weed and a lot of mushrooms, dabs. Mushrooms illegal there? Um, I can buy them really legal, easily. I don't know. I have. I quit asking. You know, I'm so old now that they just yeah. go one place. They go in my. In, you know, I got them at home, and then I just re up when I eat them. Bring the grocery roll. I know it's my birthday. I'm gonna go eat a bunch of them and do art all night. Any plans to start a cult anytime soon? I don't think so, but I wouldn't okay, mind like a right. compound where me and my okay. friends can live in the woods with like storage That's containers. Where it starts, like, brother. That's why I was asking. It starts with mushrooms. <laughs> it ends up with a compound. Next thing you got a yeah. fucking a sex cult. Yeah. You're fucking working yeah. on. Come on. Our own vegetables. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's on your way to being a cult, brother. Yeah. I love you, man. Thanks for being a part of this. Yes, sir. Uh, Good to talk. And, and we look forward to seeing you again. We'll talk to you awesome. soon. Definitely, bro. See ya. What yeah. do you listen to when you make creating art? Same. Uh, a lot of times I don't listen to anything. If I do, like, um, sometimes I eat mushrooms. So it'll be like, uh, like instrumental, uh, lo fi hip hop or straight hip hop okay. or, uh, um, if I'm not on mushrooms, it's usually metal uh, or a mix of both. I got a liked playlist on Spotify that's like 4,000 songs deep, and it's everything from um, Salt and Pepper, Push It Real Good, to uh, Carry On My Wayward Son, to uh, uh, Duo De Twang, some uh, Les Claypool's side project okay. where he plays banjo and a bass, and they cover like Man in the Box and Appetite for Destroy and uh, Welcome to the Jungle. Um, they cover some cool shit, but it's all like banjo, bluegrassy, kind of like. like uh, Steven Seagulls, have you heard them? Steven I was Seagulls. just going to mention them, so yeah. yes. It's similar without uh, all the shit. It's just the bass of guitar or bass of banjo. Right. But uh, right. same idea. They, they cover songs and they do it all bluegrass here. Or, or, Completely uh, on topic, but uh, not on topic. Have you heard uh, the band The Goddamn Gallows? I have. That's uh, Joey uh, Perez's band. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. Uh-huh. You know the kid. Uh, wait, no. Joe Perez. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kid Tattoos in Iowa and Montana. 
he Does comes he? out here quite a bit. He's always at uh, Mass Art Arts. I had um, no idea. I had no fucking. So it's possible that I've met the I'm singer. Pretty fucking sure. Joe of Perez. My favorite jogging music. Like, like if I jog, I like to listen to the goddamn Gallows, the Maker. Right. Uh, it's it's really heavy, really banjo laden though. Um, yeah. It sounds like if if Iron Maiden grew up in the Appalachian Mountains or some shit or Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 It's very uh. Deliverance meets um, meets Motorhead or something. Yeah, and he's a tattoo artist. Yeah, Joe Perez. Um, he worked with uh, Coy, and I don't know if he worked with Coy, but Coy knows him. All those, all those Iowa guys. This is uh, this is jaw dropping to me. I'm amazed by it. Uh, yeah, I'm almost fucking certain. Let me um, I can minimize this, right? I can. Let me let me go find his anything about that. You can't find it, or you can. No, it's just his Instagram it doesn't say anything about his band. It's just his tattoo stuff. Okay, so you're a liar. No problem. I'm <laughs> yeah, used to it. Exactly. I'm used to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's nobody here to fact check us. We can say whatever. We want. Okay, so after further in- investigation, I find I not only know Joe uh, Perez, but he was a member of the Goddamn Gallows, uh, awesome band that you should check out. The title, what is it? Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Goddamn Gallows. You're welcome. Though this yeah. one's gonna look good forever. Oh, I did, yeah, the, that one went on and it was good. <laughs> How dark this shit comes to be. <laughs> Please stop putting black. lettering on yourselves, people. Yeah, leave words. Uh, I mean, book. that's what I used to tell people. Well, what are you saying? What's that again? I'm like, I'll leave words to book instead of fucking writing an obituary. Let's make a fucking nice, uh, you know, a potted plant with a banner that says mom on it if she liked plants or if she liked to cook, do a fucking cross spatula and a rolling pin and write mom on it not a list of oh here's some line work of that hand not a list of everybody that's passed in your life that doesn't mean right you. right it's, uh, writing a eulogy or an obituary <laughs> had that dude there was a period justin bieber must have got those wing tattoos a few years ago because we had dude 20 kids come into the shop that all wanted that tattoo um and i even asked one of them i said what did justin bieber just get this fucking tattoo no joke dude that's what i asked the kid you know i don't know I said, because I've been doing them all fucking week, dude. And look at that, dude. I was right. He did get them. And all those little fucking wannabe boys came in and all got them, too. And they all got him right after. Yeah, This guy's man, missing a tiger here. Crazy. There's a lion, a bear, but no tiger. Oh, he does have a tiger. So he has the full wizard of Oz Good. On, his, on his torso view. What is that I say? don't see a no witch. God? No uh, God? I think yeah. son of God, yeah. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, didn't that. know. yeah, the eagle's covering up something. No, there wasn't a girlfriend's name there. Come on. <laughs> still see some of it. Doesn't look like a cover up. You just do big large splotches of black that are uneven from one side to the other. Yeah, all the time, I, right? that's how they specialize in that. Back to There's you. A, awesome. People come into the shop last place I was working and uh it'd be all wrapped up and stuff. And I'd usually start tattooing them and I'd just tell them that the skin was no good and it was all rubbery and I I couldn't tattoo them. They're gonna have to come back when it heals and not use that stuff anymore. Right. So they think yes, I let them. surprise you. So they think that I let them, and then I tell them it just makes the skin horrible, like a sponge. Because a lot of times it does. They use too much of it. It's like tattooing yeah. a wet sponge. You have no resistance or no bounce off the skin. You can't feel it in the machine. You know what I mean? And I'm still using coils, so I I need that vibration and response to know that I'm doing it right. You know what I mean? Even now, you're using coils. Absolutely. I got a fucking killer collection of Aaron Canes, and I have no reason to ever change. Switch those back. Even if you break a front spring, they're not going to be making them pretty soon. Well, the hill always make them. <laughs> I got a sure. stash part of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's not right, that right. Anymore. That, that, that's, his, uh, that's his career, dude. He, he makes that machines. And I, I fear that I fear that for him and guys like Seth Safari and stuff, because then Dank, Gary Dank built like Dank built. What are they gonna do? You know what I mean? I mean, it's yeah, a graph. They're, they're not gonna stop making them because that's their livelihood. But they're gonna fucking love you. They're gonna be like, dude, you're the last guy buying anything that's not shaped like a dildo. <laughs> I just quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you got to get back in it just to support me and three other right, tattoos. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I worry about that for those guys. I've thought of that several times. Um, because they, uh, a lot of them, like Aaron Kane doesn't tattoo anymore. He tattooed for a lot of years, and then Seth Spray doesn't tattoo anymore either. They, uh, they strictly just build machines. What about um, when AI takes our jobs? 
You're not scared. Hopefully, it's after us. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't let tomorrow ruin today. Typically, I uh, okay. I, stay I follow. I, I say pretty positive mental attitude uh, day by day. Um, I do have shit I sweat and I have to take care of, but uh, I try not to worry about that stuff. Uh, 